Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Beck Brace and welcome to a new video where I'm going to show you um, some distinction between Kiwi and KiwiMD. Now, there are a lot of confusion between both of them. Um, you really shouldn't have any confusion because Kiwi is the Python framework. Um, the It's an open source, which means free, don't have to pay anything. Uh, it's a app development framework. So it's a cross-platform, which means that you can use it or we, you can run these applications on Android, iOS, Linux, macOS, and Windows. Um, it has 14.8 thousand stars on GitHub. It has an MIT license. You scroll down here below, you'll find that uh, there are a lot of backers and sponsors. You can be a backer, you can be a sponsor. So yeah, it's an app development framework. But it could be not very visually appealing. That's why we need KVMD. So KVMD basically is a collection of material design compliant widgets for use with Kiwi. And if you will take a look here, you'll find a lot of, uh, you know, tools like themes, components, controllers, behaviors, effects, templates, change log, and even the API. So um, yeah, you can use all of that. You can make use of everything that KiwiMD has to offer you to use with Kiwi. Um, usually the code with KiwiMD is shorter than Kiwi, uh, only Kiwi, right? So the code with KiwiMD is shorter than the code with Kiwi. Um, but one very important thing to mention is that you cannot use KiwiMD without actually knowing Kiwi code. So you need to understand that there is KV file that you need to create and connect your Python file with the KV file, or maybe you can embed your KV code inside your Python. Uh, it depends on how large or small your application is. Okay, and I'm going to show you now very quick examples on what is it like to create a very simple KV application, right? Uh, maybe we will do more than one, um, depends on our time, but yeah, I don't want this video to be too long. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so let me just go to my folder and I'm going to create a um, folder. I'm going to call it Kiwi Dots. All right, let's open this with Visual Studio Code. All right, and let me create a file. I'm going to call it main.py. And another one, I will call it, uh, for the moment, no need. Because what I wanted to do is to show you if I would create also a key uh, or KV file. So let's keep it at that for the moment. And don't forget to create a virtual environment. And creating virtual environment in general is a very good practice because it keeps everything isolated from the global system. and. It's very important, not only with Kiwi, but in any Python project you create, it's very important to keep all of your files isolated uh, from your global file system. And the reason for that is you might install globally a package or dependency and you need to upgrade it or update it, for example, and there are other versions and might could cause potential conflicts or potential crashes for your application. So you don't need that. You want always to um, create or just install these packages in an isolated environment, in a virtual environment, especially with Kiwi, because you will always install things with Kiwi all the time. Um, the dependencies for Kiwi are endless. So yeah, um, I think it's a good thing to do to create a virtual environment. I'm going to do that by PPNV. I can say PPNV shell, and this is to activate my virtual environment inside that folder, kiwi dash dots. Once it's activated, I can now install uh, Kiwi and Kiwi MD both.
great. So let me just uh, shut the integrated terminal, open our main.py file. And the next thing that you want to do, or the first thing actually you want to do in uh, with Kiwi or Kiwi MD, um, well, actually, let me show you. So let me actually modify this a little bit. So let's say main KV and also main kvmd.py. All right, we're going to see and let's delete this for now. We don't need that. Maybe in future tutorials, if you guys like a crash course or a series of videos on uh, Kiwi and KVMD, just let me know, please, in the comment section below. I would love to do that for you guys. So let's start by Kiwi, for example, Kiwi first. So the first thing that you need to do is to import the app. This is the main thing, the main application, right? So from dot app, you want to import um, the app. Then we need a label because what we want to do is to just write hello world in the middle of the screen. So we will import from Kiwi dot UIX and I believe UIX stands for user interface and experience at the same time, maybe I'm not really sure dot label. And from this, I need to import label with a capital L. So the label class, you can see, see the module documentation for more info, events on ref pre doesn't really explain um, much here, but you will need to open documentation to read more. All right. So now I need a class or we need a class and this class, I'm going to call it main app like that. And it takes the main parameter or main input, the application itself. Then I need a function to build the whole thing and it takes inside self as main input. And then we want, what we want to return is the label that takes text to be equal to hello world. And that's it, basically. Then you can take or declare a variable called app and assign it to main app like that. And then you can run it by calling the run method. Right, save that, open the integrated terminal. Let's actually do Python. Let's make sure first that PPNV shell or the environment, the virtual environment is activated and it is indeed. Let's go ahead and do Python main dash kv dot pi. And there we go. We have a hello, not hell, <laughs> hello world. And you can see that when you do that, you resize it, uh, it moves with you, right? So if you resize it small like this, it will move with you, right? It's, um, it's pretty smart. Let me just, um, but let me just add an O here. All right, so this is mainly Kiwi, right? MS, a very simple minimalist Kiwi app. If we'll go to Kiwi MD, and let me just make it the same main dash Kiwi MD. Now for the Kiwi MD file, basically will be the same thing. So can actually copy that, come here and paste this. And then instead of Kiwi, we'll take kvmd.app. And instead of app only, we will add at the beginning of the word MD in capital letters like that. For the label, we will add MD after Kiwi. And also I will need a class called main app. And it takes here MD app instead of app only. And also, uh, I will need the build function and it takes self as an input, same thing, and it will return MD label instead of label only. So I forgot to add MD here.
so it will return md label and then the text will be hello world from kvmd the only thing that is different here is i want the hello world to be in the center of the screen so i want horizontal alignment so this is an attribute edge align is equal to center like that all right and we can do the same thing app equal to main app or you can take it directly but it's not um, very smart to do that i'll just show you different ways to run your application you can basically assign to a variable and then run the variable or just run uh, the main app class directly all right let's go ahead directly and run that file kv or kvmd.py and boom hello world from kvmd and it's in the middle of uh, of the screen so this is the main difference between kv and kvmd okay you notice here um the background is white there it was black but other than that does the same thing the main differences will start to appear once we uh, make use of the different visual tools that kvmd has to offer all right so that's it for that video please let me know in the comments below if you want to see more from kiwi i will be very happy to show you more in kiwi and how you can create um, basic android applications task manager um, nasa tracker for example i have a lot of ideas to do with kiwi or kvmd but just let me know please in the comment section below your feedback is very important to me so thank you very much and i will see you in the next video till then stay safe and be well